Howdy, home hunters. It's time to get locked and loaded for another issue of Extreme Hunting. Extreme! I'm your host, Lute Kurzinski. And I'm Brock Chitney! Extreme Hunting is the only hunting show where we do not carry guns. We feel that to really be true hunters, you need to hunt with your hands. Rifles are for pussies! Rifles are absolutely for pussies, man. F rifles. This is the only show where we hunt with our bare hands! Today, we're gonna be hunting the elusive beast known as wild rice. That sounds kind of lame. Now, most people think that wild rice is just something that you go and you buy at the store, you just go find it easy, but it's actually quite difficult to find this stuff in the wild, and it's even more difficult to capture it. Ah! Every year, actually, what people don't really realize is that second to moose attacks in the wild, the most injuries that happen are due to wild rice. Yes, sir. You're not blowing smoke up my pooper, are you? No, I'm not blowing smoke up your pooper. So, alright, alright! Some... If we're killing <laughs> shit, I'm there! So, uh. Off in this direction now. Saw what looked like it might be some really good wild rice breeding grounds. So, we're gonna take it in that direction a little bit further. And once we get a, uh, Gus, look out for that poison oak, right? Never mind. Uh, so we're gonna take it off in that direction. Once we see some stuff that looks, you know, once we see some signs of wild rice, then we're gonna split up and, uh, and take it from there. So, once again, Loot has picked the, the stupid, gall darndest animal to hunt. I don't even know what a rice looks like. I mean, who's seen rice? So, He's going to go follow the damn things by the river, and immediately I'm going to the woods because that's where the real animals are. Wild rice likes to stay right near the banks. Now, uh, Brock, I told him to stay near the other side of the river, and he crossed over just fine. Then he took off at an angle to the water. So uh, I, I think he's lost again. Uh, we'll have to find him a little bit later. I think that guy hasn't got a f***ing prayer in hell of finding these things. He generally doesn't really even know what the hell he's doing. So it's a good thing you're following me right now. We were hunting pheasant, and then Luke, we, we were drinking some beers. And Lou got so drunk, and so he was like bending over, and this gopher ran out and, and, uh, and bit him in the ass. So it only took two stitches, and he was like screaming like a little girl. You might as well just slap a dress on him. I think I heard him this way, okay? Let's see if we can find this guy. Brock? Brock! <laughs> Alright, what happened? Let me see. Oh my! Alright, thanks for watching this episode of Extreme Hunting. I gotta take this little girl to the hospital right now. He's bleeding profusely. Alright, and uh, we'll see you next time, alright? Come on. Come on, big guy. No, it's alright. It's alright.